Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Naoko Yamazaki. Congratulations on launching this wonderful event for girls and women in science, technology, engineering, and mathematics in Asia. I would like to express deep appreciation for the UNESCO office in Bangkok and all the dedicated participants from all over the Asia. By the way, I love the title Night Under the Stars with such a beautiful title and wonderful people. I believe this event will be a successful one. Please let me introduce my experiences a little. When I was a young girl, I liked to watch the stars in the sky and in planetariums. Also, science fiction movies like Star Wars inspired me a lot. I believe we would all be able to go to space when grown up. Then I became an engineer because I wanted to build a spaceship. My parents had no idea on space development, but they were very supportive, fortunately. And in my high school, where all the students were girls, 40 to 50% went to STEM field. So it was very natural for me to be interested in engineering. However, when I entered the University of Tokyo, I was very surprised to see very few, less than 5% women in engineering field. But we could study all together in the same way, and the lectures and the researches were so much fun for me. And I had an experience of studying in the United States as an exchange student for one year. That was a very great opportunity for me because I could meet all women from all over the world in STEM field. And moreover, I could meet elder women over 70 years old who were still enjoying piloting airplanes and helicopters. That was an eye-opening surprise to me. Thanks to these experiences, I started working as an engineer first and then became an astronaut. Of course, during my 11-year training period, I faced lots of challenges sometimes, uh, as many of you might do so. I delivered my child in my third training year. And while traveling in the United States, Russia, and other countries, uh, it became sometimes challenging. But one of my astronaut colleagues, Katie Corman, ca encouraged me. Well, it is challenging, but it is not impossible. And of course, many people, like my family, my colleagues, and friends, helped me a lot. I cannot thank them enough. Without their help, I could would not have been able to accomplish my space mission. Well, almost five years has passed since I worked on board the International Space Station. Currently, I am working for the Japanese Space Policy Committee and trying to promote space education, hoping to see more women in the STEM field and more female astronauts to follow and go beyond my path. Again, thank you very much for all of your great efforts. I believe your efforts will enlighten young girls and women in STEM fields like I myself was inspired when I was a little kid. I am looking forward to seeing these activities continue further and I wish each of you all the best in your career and in your life. Thank you very much.